So, you have no idea how to program. Not a problem. Here, you can see we have a fresh new project, and all we have in it are a cube, a sphere, and a cylinder. Now, if you press Control-P or run the game right now, you will find nothing is happening. And that is because you programmed nothing. But what if we wanted to program the cube so that when the game started, it destroyed itself? How would you do that? Well, any time you want to write new code for something that's not happening, go down to the assets area, right-click, create, C sharp script and give it a name. I'm just gonna call it self destruct. Press enter, double click on it, and you will be taken to Visual Studios. And now I will bestow upon you the super secret code to destroy something in Unity. You ready for it? Alright, here we go. Destroy game object. I know it's complicated, but be brave. You got this. I know you can do it. And when you have finished coding, press Ctrl S to save. And go back and click on the object you want to destroy and drag your script onto the object. Now, if you play the game right now, you'll find that one of the objects is no longer alive. And here is what I want you to pay attention to. The only object that disappeared was the one that had the self-destruct script on it. The circle and the cylinder are still here. But if you drag the self-destruct script to the sphere too, then run the game again, now both the cube and the sphere will have disappeared. Makes sense, right? The cylinder has no code on it, so it's not gonna do anything. But the cube and the sphere have the self-destruct script we just wrote on them, so that's what they're gonna do. So far so good? All right. So what if we wanted to be a little bit more specific? What if we wanted our object to self-destruct after 300 frames? Well, what you're basically talking about is a timer. And a timer is just a number that changes the more time passes. So we are going to create a number to represent that change in time. To do that, go up here and type public int timer equals 300. And now we need to tell the timer to count down. So if you look here, you are going to see that we have two areas. A start area and an update. The update method is the one that happens every frame. So go down to the update and if we type timer minus minus. This tells Unity that every single frame, the timer should subtract one. So if we temporarily disable our destruction code, save and run our game again, you will now see that every frame, our timer goes down by one. And it'll keep doing that forever, because that's all we told it to do. But we want it to self-destruct only when it reaches zero. And to do that, we need to set up a condition. And conditional code looks like this. If timer equals equals zero, destroy game object. And if you save now and run the game, you will see that as soon as the game starts, the timer counts down, and when it reaches zero, the object is gone. And we can change the timer to whatever we want here. So if we set the cube's timer to 500, and then set the sphere's timer to 200, they'll self-destruct at different times. And you're done, really. Now you know how to destroy objects, how to use timers, and set up conditions with if statements. For the first lesson, I think that's a pretty good place to start. Now there is one last really important thing that I want to teach you, and that's how to put notes in your code. Now I don't care how f***ing obvious you think your code is, you always, always, always put notes next to your f***ing code. Because when you get lost, those poor bastards in the Unity form who are gonna try and help you will need these notes to maybe understand what the hell you were trying to do. So slash slash leave some notes and you can thank me later. Alright, well, hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.